the collector, he's really only in it for, for a brief period of time, but I still feel like he's one of the more memorable characters from the entire film. How much of his look and sort of his distinctive way of speaking and all that was there, and how much were you able to bring it out? The look was there. The, the look, the idea of the white hair with the white eyebrows, I think that it was there. The wardrobe was there. All that stuff really helps to start thinking about what are you going to do with this character. What happens is you, you bring in these ideas and you start throwing stuff out there and you start timid because you don't know, you know, you don't know, you don't know if the director is going to go, what are you doing? What are you doing? And so you start, you know, pushing the envelope. And so what I got was when James Gunn reacted with a laughter. I knew that he was basically letting me know he liked that. We've already established that you destroying the ship that I'm on is not saving me. When did we establish? Like three seconds ago. No, I wasn't listening. I was thinking of something else. Oh. What were some of those like early discussions like about the character of the collector was and what he is about? When I met with the Marvel guys, they I asked them to give me as much information as they could get from the comic book so I could read about it. And, you know, there was a lot of information about this guy who has some darkness in him. So, you know, you start seeing that this is a guy with, with a huge ego and probably like, a, you know, low self-esteem. And that's why he treats the collection, the, the creatures he's got there, kind of like they would treat animals in a zoo back in the 20s. Marvel, your universe.